We're here on a 32 degree slope on the west side of the Bridger Range and uh, this is really close. Uh, we're basically at the top of Truman Gulch and this is really close to where uh, there was a skier triggered slide about a week ago. What I've done here is isolated a column uh, 30 centimeters by 90 centimeters and we're going to do a test called the extended column test. And that's where after I've isolated the column on all four sides, I'll then do a bunch of taps. And what this test will show is if we can propagate a fracture um, along a weak layer. Taking a bit here. So that was uh, ECT 27. So it took a lot of taps to hit it. However, even though it took a lot of force, it sheared across very easily. So it was able to propagate a fracture. So what that's telling me is that in areas where possibly the snowpack's thinner, we still might be able to trigger a slide. What we have here is we've got a pretty dense slab of snow, anywhere from four to one finger hardness. And this is sitting on just a bunch of depth hoard, just very sugary, large grain facets that are very weak. And so it was unable to support it. So that's kind of the situation we have right now.